Darren Spader again here at the Mercury News, here with uh, Glenn Reeves. Glenn was uh, down in uh, South San Jose tonight for the Gunderson-Leland game. Uh, Glenn, why don't you tell us uh, what happened out there at Gunderson High? I'll tell you, this uh, Christian Fudge for uh, Gunderson, 6'7 junior, he was the big factor in the game, he scored 28 points. And uh, when Leland made a run late in the fourth quarter, it caught up to Gunderson. He scored the last six points in the game and put it away from the Grizzlies who were in first place and they managed to stay in first place ahead of the four teams that were one game behind them. As we were just talking about their amazing story from where they were three or four years ago with uh, yeah. uh, what was going on out there with uh, the, the coach and, and the players and the players leaving the program and playing uh, a JV yeah. team on the varsity three years ago being the, probably the worst team in the 24 team BVAL. Now they're the number one team in the BVAL. All right. Well, your game was uh, was over, and my game was uh, still the the guys were still out there warming up. Uh, <laughs> a story of the Santa Clara Valley Athletic League's uh, De Anza Division. Uh, I was out at Gun High tonight for the Los Gatos uh, Wildcats and the Gun Titans. Uh, Gun came out really, really quick. I mean, wow! It was like boom, and they're up six nothing. They get uh, Los Gatos' uh, top scorer, Dylan Belquist, in foul trouble. He sat the final 13-53 of the first half, did not score a point, and Los Gatos still had to lead at halftime by two. But, uh, but Gunn uh, started moving the ball a little bit better uh, offensively in the second half uh, and uh, went on an 11-0 run to, uh, at the end of the third quarter and early in the fourth. And, uh, that was just enough for them to be able to hold on for a 63-59 to 59 victory that uh, keeps them in first place in the De Anza division. So, yeah. anyhow, so yeah, we, you and I were at a couple of good public school games tonight. I know that's St. Francis one. I'm sure Ray Hackey and his uh, Hackey's highlights will bring us up to date on some of the other games that you and I were, uh, you know, were not able to follow as, as the night unfolded. So, uh, we'll be coming up with Hackey's highlights here in a second. Welcome to the, uh, tonight's edition of Hacky's Highlights. We got a lot to pack into our segment tonight, so let's kick off with girls soccer. Mountain View defeated Palo Alto two to nothing, breaking a first place tie in the uh, SCVA El Dianza Division. Uh, Natasha Harris and Maddie Nidig each scored for the undefeated Spartans. Palo Alto suffers its first loss. Over in boys soccer, Will Chisholm of Menlo School had two goals and two assists in a 4-1 win over Harker. Over in girls basketball, we've got Lindsey Haynes of Homestead hitting six three-pointers in a 49-42 win over Cupertino. Homestead is now 19-2, 9-0 in the El Camino division. And Jordan Thompson of Harker hit, had 30 points in a win over Mercy of Burlingame. So now we're in boys basketball. Uh, over in the WCAL, St. Francis defeated Bellarmine 47-40. Uh, St. Francis is up by two games in the WCAL. Jake Killingsworth of Sarah had 25 points uh, in a win over Sacred Heart Cathedral. Um, <clears throat> over in the BVAL, Beatty Rogash of Mount Pleasant had 17 points for the Cardinals in a win over Live Oak. Mount Pleasant is 9-1 in the BVAL and leads the West Valley Division by two games with four remaining. Uh, Jace Wilcliffe, Wycliffe of Wilcox had 29 points in a win over Milpitas. Vinny Ferrari of Burlingame, 25 points in a 57-47 win over Mills. Now in that same game, Brandon Matsuno uh, of the Mills Vikings had 30 points, 21 of which came on three-pointers. Uh, uh, the Kings Academy upset first place uh, Sacred Heart Prep 
in WBAL action. Uh, Ahmad Young had 16 points in the Knights' first win over the Gators in nine years and the first ever win over a Sacred Heart Prep on their home court. Now, back to the BVAL, Prospect had 96 points in a win over Santa Teresa. Uh, senior, for, senior forward Lucas Swidler had 19 of those points. Blake Uyahara had 18. There, that should do it for tonight. This is Ray Hackey with Hackey's Highlights.